we need the School of Community Medicine here in Tulsa, um, but I think we need it all across the country. I think there should be School of Community Medicines all across the country because what we're dealing with and what we're faced with as medical professionals is we're designed to learn about medicine in a way that's kind of designed in a box or what we could call it the exam room. And I think because of that, that has kind of limited our broad reach within the community at, at large. And so it's like, for me, I think if I have a patient who's coming to me for all of these problems, but I don't take a step to look at like all of the problems that they have going on outside of, of the clinic in their life, then how can I actually be providing the best patient care for them? I think the curriculum here, you know, in, in medicine, uh, you know, nationally, individual level, uh, we tend to be very reactive. You know, we treat a patient once they get sick. We treat a patient um, once they've already had a heart attack. And I think that one thing that the School of Community Medicine does so well is really they're on the, the leading edge of um, focusing on preventive medicine, focusing on the majority of medicine that comes outside of the, the patient provider interaction that comes from genetics, that comes from um, some of the social determinants of health, that comes from behavior. And I think that uh, a lot of the curriculum here is, is focused on, on not reactive medicine, but trying to take care of a patient in a way that can allow them to be healthy and not ever have that heart attack. This was a school that would teach me to see beyond a patient's um, diagnosis. Um, and that's something that I, I think that I definitely learned and I definitely got from my education here. I also know looking forward to residency, I'm very interested in those community programs that have multiple sites that give you a, um, just kind of that experience working with different patient populations. Because again, I think whenever you're trained in one specific environment working with, you know, maybe a certain population or a certain community over and over again, it really does kind of narrow the scope of what you can accomplish as a provider. And it narrows the people that you can connect with um, as you're trying to fulfill that role as their healthcare provider, as their physician. One of the things that I really liked about the School of Community Medicine is we had, uh, we've been working on incorporating this lifestyle medicine component to the, to the program. And so um, I think we are able to talk about lifestyle medicine, able to learn how food and diet and the things that you're doing in your life can not just manage chronic illness, but actually cure and treat it in a lot of ways too. And so I love that class. I love that part of the curriculum that, um, that we got to learn it and work with and so I want to be able to take that component and apply those things that we learned into the patients I'm seeing too. I see the School of Key Medicine helping Tulsa. There's a lot of different ways. I think Bedlam Clinic being able to serve the uninsured population is a huge portion of that. I also think advocating for different areas that maybe don't have the same resources we do. So I'm not sure if you're familiar but there is a health discrepancy in life expectancy between North Tulsa and South Tulsa that's not okay. And I think the School of Community Medicine has done everything that we can to try to attack that from every angle and not just see it as a superficial problem but really try to get to the root and find out historically what's affected us, find out what today is affecting us, whether that's healthcare outcomes or so many other factors where your street is just designed in a different way where you don't have access to the certain things you should or your grocery store. Um, and I think one thing is just understanding and developing that knowledge base. So I think the School of Community Medicine is preparing us to look at communities in a different way and not just see them as a health outcome, but see that as all the things that led to that health outcome. There still will always be those niches of people who just can't receive care. So um, that's been very impactful in knowing that it is achievable, that we can uh, establish a clinic that can serve the community in that type of capacity and make such an impact. Um, uh, PPS has also been a class that was very interesting to me and exposing me to the different types of community programs that we have here in the Tulsa community that I wouldn't know of otherwise, you know, 12 and 12, uh, you know, the LGBT region community, uh, those types of foundations are very, very important to finding your patients a place that they can have those resources that they need. So um, other than that, there's so many things. This is an endless list of uh, things that I've been exposed to here um, in Tulsa that I wouldn't know otherwise. And I think like with such a small community, we're able to have those experiences without it taken away from our um, curriculum here. The biggest impact is probably shaping that idea of, you know, wherever you go, you're going to be a doctor. But you can be a doctor who just looks at a patient and says, you have this disease, here's the medicine. Or you could be a doctor who says, I want to help make a greater impact. And that's why I chose uh, the School of Community Medicine.